Who doesn't love a chicken pot pie on a cold winter night? We start this one off by chopping some carrots and dropping it in a pot with some water and a pinch of salt. While the carrots simmer and soften up, let's warm up some chicken broth. The full recipe can be found at cookinfools.com. Next up, chop an onion and get that bad boy into a pot with some oil and butter. Once the onion softens up, let's add in some flour. Work the flour through the oil and the onions, and then we're going to go ahead and add some of that chicken broth. Add the chicken broth a little at a time, blending through each time. Skin and chop a medium potato, and then get that in with our carrots that have softened up a bit. Back to our filling. Add some salt, pepper, and a dash of hot sauce. Then cube up some chicken breast. This came from a rotisserie chicken, which saves us time and money. Then add the softened carrots and potatoes, as well as some frozen peas. Blend everything through, and this is starting to look like some pot pie filling. If it's a little thick, add a little more broth, as we did here. Time to get the dough ready, which may in fact be the star of this show. Flour the dough on both sides and then roll it out to be about 25 to 30 percent bigger than what it was in the package. Then cut a piece that's bigger than the ramekin it'll go into. Hit that ramekin with spray oil and then drop in the dough. That's it. Doesn't have to be pretty. No, it doesn't. Now ladle in that glorious filling. Lay down more dough over the top and then crimp around the edges. Trim the excess from around the sides and then poke holes in the top to allow steam to escape. Now into a preheated 400 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Wait for the bubbling. Wait for it. Wait for it. There it is. Here's my favorite way to serve a pot pie. And this is why we oiled the ramekin. Without the oil, this does not come out clean. Now the moment I've all been waiting for. You can find the step-by-step, picture-by-picture, foolproof recipe at cookingfools.com. Mmm, so good.